hope everybody's having a great day. I would like to remind you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel or feel free to comment or ask any questions in the comment section and we'll see if we can get them answered for you. So let's start talking about the super trend indicator. Now, I'm just going to mention this up front. The name of the indicator is actually super trend indicator. But it's really odd to roll off the tongue and not say the super trend indicator. So I use the super end, but the actual name of it is, is not a description that it's a super trend. The name of it is super trend indicator. Most traders are familiar with following trends. Whether tracking trends found through fundamental analysis, reading cryptocurrency or currency news, or identifying chart patterns. Following trends in the market has proven itself lucrative time and again. However, among many market movement indices available, the super trend indicator is vastly underused. For some reason, it didn't become one of the popular indicators as online trading developed. Maybe because the developers developed at last the ability to drop it on charts. It's not a new indicator, but you know, today we use all these modern HTML charts. And until the developers or somebody has the demand for it, like even TradingView added it on very far down the line. You know, all the big popular ones are added right away. But today, super trend indicators available on all the charts and all the charting software. And it's a great indicator. It's just underutilized. Like other trend following technical analysis overlays, like the simple and exponential moving averages, the super trend indicator gives or helps investors gauge market movement. In a trending market, it can be used as a confirmation tool that depends on price action. We'll walk you through this using technical trading tools while showing you how and when to apply it to your cryptocurrency, CFD trading, Forex trading, whatever you are trading on online trading. Charting generally refers to mapping the market movements of an asset on a chart. An asset rises and falls. A directional pattern of the market trend emerges. Market trends define the general course the asset is taking. Trend indicators alert traders about developing trends before or as they are happening. They warn of impending reversals. They also get a short and long-term price predictions while confirming observations in other technical indicators and other cryptocurrency assets, digital assets, Forex, commodities, gold, oil, whatever you're trading, especially if you're trading short-term assets. Now, the super trend indicator was developed by Oliver Saban to work on different time frames. It works on for futures, Forex, equities, anything we're looking at to trade in short term time frames. It is used in 15 minute hourly weekly daily charts. Based on the parameters of the multiplier and the period, the indicator uses a three for the multiplier and a seven for the ATR as the de default values. Now we're going to get over to the really easy calculations for the super trend indicator, but you never have to calculate. You push a button, it's automatically dropped on your charts. But it uses ATR, average true range. It represents by a number of days when the multiplier is the value by which the range is multiplied. The basic motive of the indicator is to give us buy and sell signals to traders. It shows the change in trends by turning it, turning its flips. When the price of an asset a stock goes high, then the indicator value, then the high goes higher than the indicator value, the indicator gives the signal by turning the color green. In other words, it's positive or a buy signal. Vice versa, when the price goes down, then the indicator value, then the indicator value, a sell signal occurs. It is shown as a color change to red. The indicator quickly captures the short interday trends. However, the default values of seven and three are good while you use it. You can adjust these default values. To reduce the parameter, you might end up generating wrong signals. 
So on the whole, this is what a super trend indicator looks like. It almost looks like a moving average, but when price falls below, it's in red. When price is above, it's in green. But this is just the beginnings. As per many indicators, super trend indicator is best to use in combination with other indicators like MACD and RSI. However, let us see what its own advantages and disadvantages are. And then we're going to talk about combining it in with MACD and combining it with RSI and then building them all together into one great strategy. The best thing about Supertrend, it sends out accurate signals on precise time. The indicators available on various trading platforms free of cost. The indicator offers the quickest technical analysis to enable the interday trader to make fast decisions. It is extremely simple and to use and easy to understand. However, the indicator is not appropriate for all situations. It works when the market is trending. When the market is sideways, it does not give us accurate information. Hence, it is best to use in short-term technical analysis. Short, super trends use only two parameters of the ATR and the multiplier, which are not sufficient under certain conditions to predict the accurate direction of the market. Understanding and identifying buying and sell signals in super trend is the main crux of the online trader. Both the downtrends as well as the uptrends are represented by the tool. The flipping of the indicator over the closing price indicates a signal. So another flipping from red to green or green to red. Super trend indicators are characterized by red and green lines. A green indicator represents a buy signal, while a red indicates a sell signal. You gauge the market's bullishness by the green line and the market's bearishness by the red line. Traders find that the super trend indicator works well in trending markets, but false signals are often generated when the market is moving sideways. Now, as I said, you'll never have to calculate this. This is dropped on your charts. But to calculate the super trend indicator, you need to input the period, which specifies the number of days of the ATR used. When and so what do we have here is the super trend indicator is an indicator of an indicator. It's using the basics of a different indicator to give you and applying something different. The ATR period defines the range of the asset period used to calculate the trend line. For example, when the ATR period is set to 10, the indicator analyzes the highs and lows over the last 10 days. The combined high and low averages are divided by a value of 2 from which the product of the multiplier and the ATR value is subtracted for uptrends are added for downtrends. So it's pretty simple. In uptrends, which are shown in green, it's price high plus low price divided by 2 times the multiplier times the ATR value. Downtrends is the high price plus the low price divided by 2 plus the multiplier times ATR. The super trend indicator usually comes with a default setting of ATR at 10 and a multiplier of 3. So ATR at 10, multiplier at 3. There is no single best parameter to use. The ATR observed will depend on the cryptocurrency, the forex, the current commodity, the stock, and the period being watched during interday trading. Lowering the parameter of the super trend indicator increases the number of buy and sell signals. Most traders find themselves lowering the parameters when they want fast signals. However, lowering the parameters also increases the number of false signals, otherwise known as whipsaws, making confirming trends with other indicators like MACD and RSI almost essential. So based on the wave principle, the super trend indicator works to predict movement in prices. It consists of different indicators that are used to identify price movement. By monitoring these indicators regularly, one can easily find support and resistance levels that are likely to be broken or violated and gain profits by buying at support levels, selling at resistance levels. 
the best part about using a super indicator is that it gives signals based on market fluctuations. And hence, once a signal has been given, there's no need to monitor it again. Support levels refer to price levels where an asset gets sold off after hitting a new high point, while resistance levels refer to a point where an asset hits a low point but starts moving upward once again after dropping. Both of these terms are very crucial as they identify whether a buy or a sell. As long as price moves above a particular support level, one should consider it as an indication to buy more positions to benefit from further price rises. Similarly, as long as price remains below a certain resistance level, it should be considered a sign for investors not to acquire any position since the downward trend will continue for some time. So what does the super trend look like? Now here you go with a real super trend indicator where we have the background colored in so we can see easily and vividly the shifts between reds and greens and the bullish zones and the bearish zones. As mentioned, now you, you, you plot a super trend, a continuous red or green line with various entry and exit points mark an upward green arrow or a downward in a red arrow on the chart. You'll notice the unbroken red and green lines on the image. That's the super trend. Identifying buy and sell signals using super trend indicator is straightforward as waiting for the indicator to switch as it crosses over the closing price. Now that the super indicator closes lower than the closing price, the line turns at green indicating a buy. Conversely, when the super trend closes above the price, the line turns red indicating a sell signal. The simplest way to identify buy and sell signals with the super trend indicators to plot them on a chart and look for entry and exit indicators based on the color switch. Combining indicators is an essential step to help traders weed out false signals. So RSI works great with super trend, relative strength index. A great way to determine entry and exit points for your trade is to combine RSI with the super trend indicator. Measure the momentum of your potential trade by observing whether it's overbought or oversold using RSI in its default period of 14. So as you see here on the chart, we have RSI listed below and RSI is plotted below where super trend is plotted on the price. And we're looking for buy and sell signals or overbought and oversold signals above 70 or below 30. When the super trend, when the RSI remains within the borders of the 70-30, we're not in overbought or oversold territory. So we're not getting some confluence between the two indicators. But when we get a crossover in the prices, as well as a flip in the indicator, we might be getting a warning that there is a trading opportunity. So an RSI value under 30 typically indicates the market's oversold with most traders accepting a price crossing above 30 to be a buy signal. An RSI value above 70 normally indicates the cryptocurrency or the currency or the asset is overbought. Now using the super trend indicator combined with RSA, the RSI indicator eliminates many whipsaws while generating more accurate buy and sell signals in moving markets. We want to apply the RSI indicator with a length of 7 to a 5, 10, or 15 minute chart. We want to plot the super trend line with a period of 5 and a multiplier of 1.5. Observe the movement and buy and sell signals on the RSI along with the buy and sell signals from the super trend. We can also get clear cut signals with, from MACD combined with the super trend indicator. MACD, when we look at the histogram, and the histogram flips from red to, to green, is a buy or sell signal. When the MACD line and the MACD signal line cross each other, we're getting a buy or sell alert. And when combined with the super trend indicator, we now have the confluence of three different indicators telling us 
or alerting us to a buy or sell opportunity. So combining the super trend indicator with the MACD indicator's ability to measure trend strength is a useful technical analysis strategy. Just like the super trend indicator, the MACD works best in trending markets. The recommended day trading parameters for MACD indicators are 26, 13, and 9, the standard MACD parameters. Traders will notice convergence happening as the histogram gets smaller when the moving average approaches the other's value. Divergence in signals as the histogram gets bigger, indicating that the two moving averages are further separated from each other. Each of the MACD lines reacts to at different speeds. When they cross over, a new trend is indicated. Now we can combine MACD, super trend indicator, and RSI all together to get one great trading strategy. Super trend is a highly reliable indicator in trending markets. Although it may be a lagging indicator because it depends on existing price action, it's highly recommended to use with other indicators to confirm signals. For example, RSI and MACD are good indicators to confirm the current trend and assess the trends the trend sustains. When used in combination with other signals, the indicator becomes a lot more reliable. So as you see on the chart, here we've combined the three together and we will get three different sets of information from three different indicators. If they all stand up together, then we have one potent signal. The super trend indicator is one of the quickest technical analysis tools and takes very little technical knowledge to implement successfully. Using multiple indicators and combining super trend with other overlays will help to decrease the chances of false signals. Traders are advised to test out various parameters and indicator combinations to identify profitable exit and entry points. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you learned a little bit about Super Trend Indicator and you start adding it in. Super Trend RSI and MACD will make you a great trading strategy. Bye now.